consider that there is a torch upside down in the water. Water is a denser medium. And this light ray, it will touch the surface of the water and it will go out of the water into air. Now air is a rarer medium when compared to water. Means air is less denser and water is more denser. Or in other words you can say that air is rarer medium and water is denser medium. Now when you switch on the torch inside the water like this upside down. Now what will be the incident angle? The angle made by the incident ray with the normal will become incident angle. Now we have the incident ray inside the water. The light is going from water to air. That after it touches the surface, that light it will get refracted. It will go outside water into air. And this refracted ray is making angle theta 2 with the normal. Then theta 2 will become the refracted angle. Okay. Theta 1 is the incident angle. Theta 2 is the refracted angle. Next situation is where the torch is getting more tilted. The torch is getting more tilted. Then the light ray, it will go till the surface of the water and then it will get refracted along the surface of the water. It will not go outside into the air. It will go along the surface of the water by making angle 90 degree with the normal. Now, this is also angle of incidence, right? And this one will be our angle of refraction. So, this angle of incidence where the light is making 90 degree with the normal is known as critical angle. Okay. The angle of incidence means this critical angle is also a angle of incidence only. But here the light is not getting refracted with uh, other angle it is getting refracted by making 90 degree with the normal such type of incident angle is known as critical angle now in the third situation see maybe let us tell that this is the first situation now this was the second situation now third situation will come where the incident angle will be more than the previous angle it will be more than the previous angle which is the critical angle. In this situation there is no refraction at all. The light will get reflected back into water. So this will become angle of reflection not angle of refraction. Okay. I hope you understood. Now theta 2 is angle of reflection and theta 1 is angle of incidence but this angle of incidence is greater than the previous angle which was the critical angle. After critical angle whatever the reflection takes place that type of reflection is known as total internal reflection or TIR. Okay. I will give you summary again. See when the torch was upside down the angle made by the incident ray with the normal was theta 1. This was our incident angle. That ray got refracted, refracted. It went outside the water. That was theta 2. It was making some angle theta 2. In the next situation, there was one angle made by the incident ray with the normal which was greater than the previous angle. This theta c was greater than theta 1, the previous angle. In this situation, there was refraction of light but the light made angle 90 degree with the normal. This is the normal. In the next situation the angle of incidence theta 1 it should be greater than the previous incident angle right. The previous incident angle was theta, theta c. So theta 1 is greater than theta c but here at this angle, the angle is not refracted. It will get reflected back into the water only. Okay. By making angle theta 2 with the normal. This angle is angle of reflection. Okay. So, before total internal reflection, whatever the incidence angle was there, that incidence angle is known as critical angle. Okay. I hope you understood now. Now we can easily understand what is total internal reflection. Total internal reflection it takes place when light travels from 
denser medium to lighter medium or rarer medium and the phenomenon occurs if the angle of incidence is greater than critical angle this angle of incidence is greater than critical angle the critical angle it is the angle of incidence for which the angle of refraction is 90 degree after the critical angle the beam is totally internally reflected okay now we can apply snell's law for this in first situation what was snell's law it was n1 sin theta 1 which is equal to n2 sin theta 2 n1 is the refractive index of water theta 1 is the incident angle n2 is the refractive index of air theta 2 is the refracted angle with this i can write as n1 by n2 is equal to sin theta 2 by sin theta 1 the same snell's law i can apply for the next situation also here sin theta 2 will become 90 degree and sin 90 is 1 that's why i can write n1 by n2 as 1 by sin theta 1 but sin theta 1 is sin theta c it is a critical angle because we are applying snell's law in the second situation right so this 1 by sin theta c is equal to n1 by n2 or sin theta c is equal to n2 by n1 now in case the uh, second medium is the rarer medium like air the air is having refractive index 1 that's why i can write sin theta c is equal to 1 by n1 okay so for air sin theta c or sin of the angle the critical angle sin of the critical angle is equal to 1 by n1 n1 is the refractive index of water okay so this was about total internal reflection i hope you all understood thank you bye